Hello everyone, this is CS Devesh Gaur, practicing company secretary from Delhi. So in this video, as I discussed in my last uh, webinar, I'm going to discuss the live demo of EOC for offline filing. Although I will have a live webinar also on the same on the Wednesday, 16th July, on um, 6 o'clock. But today we are going to discuss in this video the live how to file the MCA V3 form that is EOC 4. So let just uh, let me just open the MCA website because we know now all the filing will be on the MCA website only we cannot do that uh, PDF filing like we were doing earlier since ages. So now everything will be done on the MCA website. So hope my screen is visible. So next 15 to 20 minutes we will discuss everything online on the things uh, relating to the new annual filing. So in this video, I'm not going to explain what is the meaning of uh, offline filing, what is the meaning of online filing in detail, just tell you in single line, offline fi online filing when we have to fill the whole form on the website by the login only and the offline filing when 20% we have to fill online and further we have to fill offline. So first for filing of any form on the MC website, the website, the first step is to login on the MC website. So I have already logged in my ID on the MCA website. I will just prepare a demo form for you. Although I will not upload in this video that I will show into the some live webinar key, how to upload and all. But in this video, I will show how to prepare, how to generate and everything. So let me start one by one. So after logging, just uh, your cursor on the MCA services, then the company e-filing, then there is annual filing. This is a new option from today only. Today is a historic date. So whenever you go to file AOC4, you can see two options in your screen. AOC4 financial statement and other document. AOC4 financial statement and other document. That is second option is offline mode. You know this cursor move many very fast. Financial statement and other document offline. So let me click on this. So we are going to discuss offline mode in this video. And why I am preferring the offline mode, I have detailed discussed in my last uh, video. Of 14 July, which I have published on my blog. So let me fill the name of the company. So first thing, name of the company, then capital will show itself. Then for the financial year, we are preparing the form. First April 2024 to 31st March 2025. Date of the board of director meeting in which financial statement are approved. I am considering as 1st July. Just random date, just random data. Don't uh, compare the data with any legal compliance and anything. I am just filling the random figures. I am just filling the random number. Nature of financial statement. Whether it is provisional, whether it is adopted, revised, revised. Which is with the approval of NCLT. I am just saying adopted. With the provisional financial statement file earlier? No. My case is applicable. Nahi. No. Hai. Because I am not filed. Whether adopted in adjoint AGM? No. Now, signatory details. Signatory details practically we have to fill uh, for the person who have filed the form. For those, the, as I have filled the detail of the fin uh, financial year, I have filled the details. Now, let me fill the detail of the signatory. We have to mention the DIN number here. Name of the director will show itself. Date of signing, obviously financial statement, I keep the meeting on the 1st uh, of July. So I'm mentioning the same. One thing, now you can see here, the resolution professional can also sign the financial statement and file. This was not op available. This option was not available in the MCV2 version, but this option is available now. Here I have to select designation. Designation also, so many designations they have added now. Director, alternate director, CEO, CFO, IRP, so many designations are here. I don't know why it is asking for the valid pen. Again, let me mention. Then the next person. So okay, two, we know two persons required to sign the financial statement. So we have to fill the detail for the two person, which I am doing here. For the two person, I'm just filling it. Let me just cut and again mention it. Now it is okay. So this type of error you're gonna face this year because this is the first year of filing. So please don't get panicked if you get this type of error. Just trial and error again and 
I can say the form will start working. I mentioned detail of two persons. Now, date of board and director meeting in the director report approved. I have approved in the same meeting. So again, I have to mention the SRN of the person, then of the person who has signed. Designation. In even in the case of the offline mode, you can see that these information you have to fill at the starting only. Because this is the part of you can say the 20% information which I was telling if we have to fill uh, in the initial stage and then 80% we fill the offline. Date of signing or report by the auditor that I will say for July only. Whether annual general meeting held? Yes. Date of annual general meeting I will say today. Due date definitely was 30th September. Is 30th September. With any extension? No. Save. That I read successfully. Please make sure that properly you are saving the form. Whether company is a subsidiary of company as defined under, if my company is subsidiary of any company, I will mention yes, then the same number. Otherwise, I will mention no. Whether the company has a subsidiary company, I'm now whether company having a subsidiary company or the company has an associate company or joint venture, I said yes. Just for the temporary purpose, I'm showing you yes. SRN of ADT1, it is mandatory to mention. Once you will mention SRN of ADT1, other information will be pre-filled, which was earlier we were filling. Now it is pre-filled. As I said, I'm preparing the random form. Let me mention my name only. Even though I cannot be statutory auditor because I'm not a chartered accountant, I'm a company secretary only. Type of industry, commercial industry. Whether the consolidated financial statement required, although it is not required, uh, although it is not required, but for the demo purpose, I have selected subsidiary also, yes. So I'm prepared I'm selecting this is also yes. Whether companies are maintaining books of account and other relevant book on paper electronic mode, yes. As on date, everyone is preparing it online. So we should also mention this. I'm just filling it. I have just created the data to show you all of you. I'm just filling the data here for all of you. Anything I'm just mentioning it. It can be another thing also. With any transaction entry into related party, if any related party transaction you have done, doesn't matter ordinary cause, doesn't matter arm land, you have to select yes if transaction is yes. In case of government company, whether the controller or auditor general of India has command, government company hota to, I government company nahi hu, not applicable. CSR applicability, I will mention no. Not applicable in my case. Whether the sector audit applicable, not applicable in my case, I will mention save. That I did successfully. Now, submit. See, now this is the important thing on your screen, you can see. Submission successful, please click on the OK button to proceed for AOC4. Let me just uh, discuss one point here. As I have clicked on the save and submit, so only these information of the AOC4 I have to fill online. Now other information, for the other information, Excel will be downloaded. But before downloading that Excel, I have to prepare other link form also. As I have clicked yes for the consolidation, that's why it is showing to me CFS form. So I'm just clicking OK on the CFS form. And you can see now here, the link AOC1, the link AOC2, extract of editor report, extract of the board report. Everything is now showing here. So now they are the link form. AOC4 CFS is open as I click yes. This information is pre-filled, which is on your screen. This is also pre-filled. This I can change. Definitely I cannot. Date of board or director meeting in which consolidated financial statement approved. It can be same or different. I have done on the same date. Now again the same exercise. Name of the person, directors who have signed the balance sheet. I am just filling it again for you. Directors and date. For the second director. So many options are there. This is also one of impact. Okay, two person is there. Date of board director meeting in which board report approved. First July only. Same exercise. This 20% information we have to do it. Now we have to keep ourselves, we can say, habitual for this. We have to do it. Next some months we have to do it and we will be, we can say, expert in this. 
date of signing of report of consolidated financial statement by the auditor i mentioning the same srn of auditor appointment all the detail name just for a demo purpose i can show myself as a statutory auditor otherwise i am not with a schedule 3 applicable yes commercial and industrial activity in case of government company i am not a government company with a sector audit applicable no i am saving this now just see once i click on the submit now it is say, saying whether let's proceed for aoc1 i have to do okay now aoc1 is open in front of you number of subsidies i am mentioning one number of subsidies which are get to commence operation zero number of subsidies which has liquidated zero number of associate i am saying no i don't have any associate it is not as taking so this type of error definitely we can face so let's for the time being is mentioning one i am just submitting it now aoc2 number of contract and arrangement or transaction on arm length basis not on arm length if i will mention not on arm length definitely my auditor report will also be qualified so mention it carefully number of material contract and arrangement or transaction at arm length i said one one of the all my related party transaction are the material contract that why i mentioned okay okay now they said extract of the auditor report it is open number of qualification reservation or adverse remark by disclaimer i said zero mere there is no qualification in my case with the company's auditor report is caro is applicable i said yes submit now consolidated auditor report qualification again i am saying zero cag i am saying not applicable submit now director's report whether the company's office is small at the end of financial year as i selected the subsidiary so i cannot say small so i said no number of board meeting i am saying five board meeting number of meeting held committee meeting i said zero whether loan guarantee investment security given by the company as per section 186 when loan guarantee is given by the company security anybody corporate purchase yes reportable transaction i am saying yes see i am mentioning yes it can be no in your case also so it is a transaction based submit see now you can see on the screen excel generation is in progress now they are generating excel for aoc4 aoc4 cfs aoc1 aoc2 auditor report console stand alone auditor report console and director report seven files of the excel are getting generated by this process and you can say it is uh, wait is mentioned there because system is generating the excel on the basis of information which we have mentioned and you have seen we have mentioned the very rare information now maximum information we have to fill in the excel sheet so excel is download so excel generation was in process let's see process is completed there is the option for download i'm clicking on the download so zip file is getting download so um, now i have to fill one by one all the forms in this zip file to proceed further so now my excel is downloaded i'm just sharing the screen so see here all the excel files are downloaded 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 as we have counted earlier let's first open the aoc4 so first i am opening the aoc4 excel sheet and once i will open so you can see first column they have mentioned the instruction my personal request to everyone please go through the instruction instructions are very important when we are filing this like i'm just reading some this is a protected excel do not attempt to modify structure or formatting otherwise it will get corrupt next please refrain from using cut copy paste operation otherwise although they are not mandatory saying you don't do it but refrain from doing those so that it may otherwise it may lose you may lose the file fill mark in gray color are read only fields fill mark in blue colors are editable fields mention the date in the uh, manner of date month year so read all these things once you are preparing the form so let me click on the form so see 20% information almost i have filled online so you can see here these are the gray field and online field you cannot change it now if you want to change any of these fields then you have to again go on to your online form on the same srn and then again edit it and then again down download the excel so this is generated now 
वट एवर आई हैशन दे आर ऑल सच इंफॉर्मेशन आर जनरेटेड हेयर नाउ I mentioned ki I am keeping the place of maintenance register in the electronic mode. They are asking to mention the uh, service provider. We will mention it. I am not going into details because you all are the professional. You are filling the IOC for since here, so details you know what you have to mention. See now here is the balance sheet. PDF balance sheet is here. For an example, I can fill it. For but I am mentioning any figure or fill. You see there is a one new column. The reason for Ah, one thing you must have seen or not. Previous year figures are the prefill. See this. Previous year figures are all the prefill figures. Here it is mentioned reason for change in the figure of the previous year reporting period. If you are changing anything, if I will do it, I have to give the reason. Whatever reason I have to mention here. I'm just keeping it a demo basis. So this is the balance sheet first you have to fill. Then the notes to the balance sheet, like you were earlier doing in the IOC four in the V two version. So many things are here you have to fill. Then here it is, uh, the P and L status, data of the course recorder, everything is there. Then the P and L structure is there. Then all the detail relating to the P and L is there. Then at the last. Voice same like resolution number, date of authorization, the person who is authorized to sign the form, his detail, and if it is a non-small company, then definitely the detail of the chartered accountant, company secretary, and cost accountant and detail. Once everything is filled, just close this file and then move to the. So like I have filled this one form that is AOC four, same like the all other Excels you have to fill, and then again. Go onto the MCA website, log in, go into your SRN, and here you will see the option to upload the Excel's. Like I have already one shown the AOC four. Let me just try to upload it. Choose file, then AOC four. I have to find out where it is. So I go onto the MCA website. In the MCA website, in the Excel. i am just choosing my file where i have put it aoc4 then upload so now my aoc4 excel is getting upload and now this is the new thing which we should understand as i have not mentioned the information in front of you in the demo i have just uploaded it so it is showing an error whenever any column you have mentioned wrongly whenever any column you have kept blank in which you have to need the information or any other issue you will get the error best part ministry have done now there is the error now how you will come to know ki why it is error and which column is error is coming now click on this once you click on this the error is getting download so after clicking on this so now let me just open the error file with all of you see this error file is now there on my for my phone so now you can directly see ki okay on which column i am getting error directly on that column i can go and i can correct all of these things so this is the practically way of offline filing so in the offline filing like this you have to upload one by one all the form and best part you have to upload it in sequence first you will upload this then only this option will open otherwise this option will not be open so first i will upload aoc4 if aoc4 cfs is there then cfs then if aoc1 is there then aoc1 then if aoc2 is there then aoc2 then same like auditor auditor director and if you get error in any of such file then you cannot move to the next file first you have to remove the error by uploading all if everything is correct just proceed and just make the payment so by using this way definitely you can complete your online sorry offline filing of the aoc4 although i'm going to do a live webinar in which you can ask the question on the 16 july 6 o'clock for the same but just for the basic understanding you can refer this video hope this is useful to you and you got the benefit from this video please share the link in your circle so everyone can understand the latest filing on the mca v3 the purpose of this video is only the knowledge sharing i'm just trying to help my fraternity by sharing of knowledge so share the link with other also by helping everyone for the latest provisions